Hey, Sean Jantz here. I'm going to do a quick battle plan for Tuesday, October 13th, and I'm going to do it on Slash ES, which is the S&P 500, and Slash TF, which is the Small Cap 2000. I'm going to start here on the daily chart, and um, I'm going to show you, uh, you know, I've been talking about this for a couple days. Look at the potential for this daily f sell trigger. Look at how well that this is, this excuse me look at how well that this is shaping up right there's a daily sell trigger right there where price comes up everything's overbought you hit a reversal star all the way down right there will be a lot of money made spreading this on the way down if we can get the if we can get the bears uh, giving us any signs of um, taking back control of this chart look at that full, look at that daily buy trigger it literally couldn't have been any better there's your reversal star and then all the way back up we're already starting to re to form that reversal star right now as we speak okay the bears and the bulls are just battling and when we move to the four hour chart you can see that visually a lot better these bears and bulls are just battling hard right now look at all of these reversal stars that's forming on this four hour chart make this a little bit bigger there so you can see we're massively overbought 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 right and the the bulls and bears they're just battling right now okay reversal stars reversal stars reversal stars we got a reversal star as we speak and so uh, most of the time where who most of the time whenever you get a huge move up and then you get and then you get consolidation and then usually the bears take control and at least bring it right here or right here Okay, so when I say right here, they're either going to bring it here or bring it there. Okay, so there will be a lot of money made to the downside on this chart. Hopefully you're ready. Now, here's something to look at. This blue middle Keltner line is basically can act as a, as a magnet. Okay, and so I like noticing that the blue middle Keltner, which is basically all it is is a moving average. It's an exponential moving average. Prices like to get sucked to it. Okay, it's exactly at 2000. It's 1999. It's 2000. Okay, so let's remember that. Okay, so now we move to our plot chart for tomorrow, and let's look at the line 2000. So I'm trying to look for how if I spread this bad boy, where do I target? Look at this. We got 2000 there, 2000 there, and then we also have the minus 0.5, which is exactly to the tick. 2000 so very very good at good shot that if we break through here lower high lower high we got tasty tasty take profit right there at 2000 that's one of the first things I'm looking for for tomorrow if you want to wake up early this chart definitely has a chance to go ahead and fill value all the way to the downside if you want to wake up early around London that's around 3 to 4 or 5 a.m. Okay, so I did it last night, field value last night. This got here, the bears are a little bit in control. Looks like we caught a buy trigger just now on a 15 minute chart. It's coming up to VA high. We get through there again, another one minute lower high. We're definitely running right there. There's $30, $40 on one contract right there for you. Okay, so a couple contracts you got a, you're looking at a little over a hundred bucks if you want to wake up early. I might do it myself. Now here's something I've been talking about. I've been talking about this for you know a year or two years, and a lot of people don't take this advice, and you wonder why you lose money. Okay, so what I talk about is when you got a new five-day high, and I get it. It can be scary selling new highs. So what I always say is wait for the second lower high, either on a 15-minute or a 30-minute chart. Okay, and I absolutely just murdered Sunday night's trade plan for Monday it was amazing my exact words were let that come to value very high don't break 2014 and then you can grab dailies up there you can grab weeklies up there and you can spread this all the way to VA low amazing I mean it also went up again and gave you another shot at selling again so new five-day high 2014 bulls tried once failed tried twice failed three times failed and now here we are bouncing off so it does look like these bears want to try and gain some traction tomorrow or Wednesday and I'm absolutely going to be ready now all so we got a sell trigger again at, at uh, settlement as well okay now if this starts moving higher and we're breaking 2014 and we had a one minute higher low higher low don't even be thinking about selling that 
okay? Um, we need to find out of what's going on, why are we going higher, because based off of all of the charts, we should not be, okay? So then if when something out of the ordinary is happening, take a step back, don't force anything, that's where you, that's where you start losing a lot of money. So do not forget, tomorrow begins the earnings. Earnings season starts tomorrow for, for, for the next two to three weeks. We are going to have earnings coming out before the open and after the close. So we're going to have, we're going to start, you can Google what earnings are coming out on the S&P 500. So we might have quite a few moves before the market opens and then we'll have some moves after the market opens. So just be aware of earnings season is in full swing. Okay, so several things to do on here. It should not be that difficult. You should know exactly what to do. If we are breaking minus 0.5, this sucker, may, and we hit a lower high, lower high, lower high, we may be off to the races to the minus one. But I don't want to force anything. Okay, don't even be thinking about trying to buy right there or buy right there because right in this zone is no man's land. Okay, I want to try and stick to where the charts, where the high probability trades are going to be. Okay, we'll quickly look at the TF because it's longer term charts. It looks the exact same. Shorter term charts, I don't, I don't think it's as good of a chart. But you do notice 11.65, five day high. Bulls tried once, failed. I called that to the tick for you. I called that one to the tick for you last night. Okay, and then of course we um, tried again, failed, tried again, failed. So it does look like these bears on this chart want to try and get something done. Definitely got potential for that to fill value overnight, 80% rule, if you want to wake up and get that. That's only a couple, one to two contracts, you're looking about 20 to 40 bucks. So if you think it's worth it, go ahead and wake up. If this bad boy breaks, you got a lower high sell trigger there, lower high. I'd be looking to spread that right to the minus 0.5. But honestly, I like I like the ES better, so I, I think I might stick to that chart, but I'll definitely be peeking at this. If this starts going up, same thing. You're breaking 11.65.7. We got issues. You got to find out what's going on with that chart because we should not be breaking based off of the long, longer term charts. We look at that TF. I want to mention we still have all four of these POCs right here. They're ripe all of this volume POC stands for volume so these are just chilling here waiting for this price to get sucked to them okay the only reason a market exists is to fill orders so I can't wait till we get I bet this is probably I bet we can maybe see this on Wednesday Thursday or Friday I don't think we'll see it tomorrow it's too far down but we have all of this volume right here price is going to want to get sucked there so I can't wait till that happens so comment if you have any questions there isn't a ton to do tomorrow okay because the value box is tiny that's why I'm being just a little bit vague there really is no value area box so you just need to this is mostly a price action day you got sell triggers there you got a potential buy trigger there but I don't love it but you do got a quick quick one if you buy value area low it's got to be the quickest trade of your life and then take profits okay what I want to do is break lower high lower high spread that to the minus 0.5 so comment if you have any questions for me